evening, Derby fans. Just about to get started here on track one with the hot items in orange up against our markdowns in blue. Test, test. Ooh, we can hear me today. Barely? Test, 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 test. Right in front of the, ah, okay. Test, 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 ooh. We're getting louder. Good, better? Love that, hey. Thank you, Devin. Five seconds to first, first jam here on track one between the hot items in orange and our markdowns in blue. Jammers for this first jam for blue team, we've got Queen named MVP of her second game last night. Queen making a good showing, lead jammer. Orange jammer Riot still, still in the pack. Still getting warmed up, you know, first game of the night. We got a panty pass, for ladies and gentlemen. But Queen calls it off before Orange has the chance to make any points. Looks like Markdowns are putting a few points on the board there. Coming up jam two, we have Herder Reno in blue. Whoop. Taking a pause. Getting our scoreboard together. All right, looks like that last jam was two points for the markdowns. Hot items yet to get on the board, but we are quite literally 20 seconds into the game. <laughs> Whistle signifies we are back to play. Reno versus Temper out on the track right now. Got it, whoop. Orange Jammer Temper out around the outside line there is our lead. Coming back into the pack. Like Temper's gonna try to score some points. Four points for Temper. Reno in on the inside. Four points for Herder Reno for the blue team. Go 
And Temper scoots on by on the outside for an additional, what do I think, two points according to the ref. Up now for Orange Team, we have Eucalyptus Dyke. Love that name. Kind of a hand, you know. May not say the whole thing the whole time. Up against number 331. Is that hemlocked? It sure is. Hemi from the hometown team. Getting around on the outside. Hey, Hemlocked is your lead jammer. Eucalyptus Dyke coming around fast, though. Hell yeah, Hemi, good job. I can't see the number. Double clutch out for Orange with a nice fringy t-shirt there. And Anarchy jamming for the blue. Giving that orange wall a heck of a time, it looks like. Anarchy gets lead jammer. Double clutch tight on their heels. And Anarchy calls it before any points are scored. Five minutes into the first period, we are tied at 6-6. The jam line, we have Snot Rocket Science for the blue team going up against Monica. It's not rocket science with lead. One of our visiting coaches this weekend. We're very happy to have her. I'm very happy to witness her jamming skills. Through a second time on the inside. That's the first scoring pass. Not rocket science earns four points for the markdowns. Orange Jammer is still trying to get out of the pack. It's not rocket science with another four points for the markdowns. Orange Jammer just out of the penalty box there. Has a choice to make. Do we get through the pack all by ourselves? Keep that jammer painting on, or do we hand it off to our pivot? Who can take over in emergencies? It's not rocket science having a heck of a time on this next pass through. These walls are not to be messed with. She's through for another four points for the markdowns. Orange jammer. Demonica through the pack. Now that Demonica has gotten through the pack the first time, she can be in scoring points, but Snot Rocket Science calls it off. 12 point jam for the markdowns there. Increasing their lead to 12. Doing math in my head like a professional. Five seconds, we've got Riot up for Orange Team. Once again against Queen from the blue team. Again, Queen, MVP jammer last night. This jammer does not give up. Queen is your lead jammer. She's on the inside. 
Orange Jammer still trying to get out of the pack. Queen through again. Oh. Oh my, looks like we have a power jam for Orange here. Queen headed to the penalty box. Pivot's holding the jammer panty. And we're out. Vanessa, our pivot, number 775, putting on the star. You're going to see a different style of gameplay here. Since the blue team doesn't have a jammer, their whole job is to delay the orange jammer for as long as they possibly can. And I can tell you, when you are the only jammer on the track and everybody's looking at you and focusing on you, it is not an enviable position to be in. But Vanessa gets through, and Queen is coming through, through on the inside. We are back to full strength derby. Queen not calling it just yet, trying to Score some more points, lengthen that lead for the markdowns before, before she's done. Quite an impressive jam. Oh gosh, she can't call it yet. Okay. So our lesson here that I forgot about until this moment is if your lead jammer goes to the penalty box, they can no longer call off the jam. That means the jam is going to go the whole two minutes. So because Queen went to the penalty box in the last jam, she was, even though she was lead, she was no longer able to call off the jam, and we had a whole two-minute jam. Up now, we have Cosmo for the orange team, number 610, jamming. Cosmo's a brick house of a jammer. We got Reno back out for the blue team. Cosmo is your lead. Hell yeah, Cosmo. Coming through on the inside. Cosmo having no trouble at all with that blue pack. And blue pivot is out, holding the jammer panty. Four leaf clobber. What a great name. Now jamming for the blue team. Cosmo calls it before blue can score any points. Excellent first jam for Cosmo. We got, we got Hemlocked out again, jamming. Versus number 56, Temper. Out for Orange Team. Temper not wasting any time. Your lead jammer for this jam. Hemi still trying to make it out of the pack. Temper with some fancy footwork there. Scoring four, four points, making it look easy. through. Temper once again, not wasting any time scoring those points. There are two orange blockers in the penalty box, making Blue's job a little easier. Blue, blue Jammer is out. What's this? We got a power jam for blue. Temper's headed to the penalty box. Star 69. Wearing the star. Ha <laughs> ha. For blue team. 
And because our lead jammer just went to the penalty box, this is gonna be a full two minute jam. We got about 40 seconds left. Hopefully the markdowns can make it count. Hot items have managed to close that lead down to 33, 36. And temper not wasting any time. 10 seconds left in this jam. Quite a successful jam for Orange there. Even with quite a few penalties. Or no, a few penalties. Hot items pulling ahead. 23 point jam, very impressive. All right, coming up we have Queen back out for blue team. Against someone whose number I can't see because they are so dang ready to go. Eucalyptus Dyke. Love that. Eucalyptus Dyke earning lead. Eucalyptus Dyke doing a great job of staying low. Calls the jam, trying to prevent, whoop, successfully prevented Queen from scoring any points there. Managed to get the jam called off before Queen could pass any of the orange players. Have our blockers hanging out up towards the pivot line. Now we're going to do a classic intimidation technique there. We have Reno, Herterino, or Reno, as we call it around here. Back out for blue team and Demonica. Out for orange. <laughs> Nearly 20 seconds in, we still do not have a lead jammer. It's a testament to the skill of the blockers on the track right now. Blockers are giving both jammers a heck of a time. But Reno gets out of the pack first. Orange Jammer still trying to get out. Teammates facing the decision whether to focus on trying to block Herterino or how to help their jammer get out. We have a panty pass. Double clutch, coming in clutch. Oh, but Reno calls the jam before Orange can score any points. Markdown's closing that gap. This is a close game. But we are only halfway through the first period. We got Cosmo out again for out again for Orange Team and Anarchy out for Blue. Some substantial walls they're putting out though. I don't know if I would want to jam against these guys. Cosmo getting a little help on the inside there. Reminder for Derby fans, if you are knocked out of bounds, you have to re-enter behind the person who knocked you out. So a very common technique you're gonna see this weekend is knocking a jammer out and then skating back like number 68 Flame is doing back there to our poor orange jammer Cosmo. Colloquially, we refer to this as soul crushing because that's how you feel when it is happening to you. Blue Jammer just about out there. Oh, 
over a minute into this jam, and I believe we still do not have a lead jammer. Oh, we got a pass. Tear him up. Taking the jammer panty. At the same time, Anarchy heads to the penalty box. We got a power jam for Orange. All Blue can do is delay, tear him up as long as possible. Ooh, quite a fall right there. But since there's no blue jammer out, Orange can go after all the blue blockers to help their jammer get out. And that's time. That's a jam that really speaks to the skill of the blockers on the track today. Those jammers were working hard. Out next we have Temper back out for orange team and Hemlocked, number 331, back out for blue team. Temper taking a quick lead. An efficient jammer. Don't waste no time. Oop. And on that inside line. Hemlocked is out of the pack. Each team missing one blocker to the penalty box. And Temper manages to earn a few points for calling it. Successfully preventing Hemlocked from scoring any points that jam. Hot items remain in the lead, but it is close. Looks like there's some confusion. Word. Jam is on. Jam is on. Oh, blue jammer's in the box. Okay. We are starting this on a power jam for orange. Orange jammer's out of the box. And eucalyptus dyke is your lead. Eucalyptus Dyke fighting to stay in bounds. Oh, but 3 2 1 demolition on the blue team. Ain't gonna let that happen. Eucalyptus Dyke calls it before blue can score any points. Hot items have pulled ahead 60 to 48. See if the markdowns can make it up before halftime. Out for blue, we have queen. Out for green, we have number 22, Demonica. Both walls giving these jammers a heck of a time. Guess there must have been some blocking clinics today. Good hit there by Queen. Pack is kind of stretching out there, but we have a pack ref. Because the rules of roller derby state that you have to maintain pack definition. You have to have players from both teams represented within a 10 foot space. Hey, Queen is your lead jammer. A hard one lead this, or this jam. 
McQueen skating on through on the inside. Earning four points for the markdowns. Orange Jammer is out of the pack. And Queen calls it before Orange can score any points. Markdown's narrowing that lead. Looks like we have Temper back out for Orange Team and Herterino back out for the Blue. Gonna take Temper, taking lead for the orange team. Blue Jammer is still trying to get out of the pack. Temper with another four points. Ooh, Blue Pivot manages to stay just inside. Slamlet now wearing the star for Blue Team. Temper calls it before blue team. Looks like blue team might have got one point there. Two points maybe. Looks like two points. Out now for orange, number 88, Riot. Out again for blue, number 331, Hemlocked. Hemlock getting real serious about it. Real intense, very quickly, but Riot takes lead. Blue Jammer still trying to get out as Riot attempts to score some points for Orange Team, maintain that lead. Looks like Orange Team is down a blocker. Again, an example of soul crushing there. Poor Hemlock had to come back in. Oh. Riot coming back out with another four points for Orange. And we have a penny pass. Number 801 Anarchy donning the star for Blue. But Riot calls it before Blue can score any points. Hot items maintaining their lead. Lengthening it a little bit. Looks like Blue Team's putting out their secret weapons, not rocket science. Takes the jam line for Blue. Eucalyptus Dyke. Back out for Orange. Eucalyptus Dyke takes lead. Heck yeah. It's not rocket science. Out of the pack. And Eucalyptus Dyke calls it before it's not rocket science can hit the pack. Earning two points for the hot items. Next up, we got Herderino back out for blue team and Temper back out for orange. Oop, Temper out on the outside. Your lead jammer for this jam. Blue jammer still trying to get out of the pack. Orange giving them a heck of a time. As Temper comes back through, Little Hap skipping a jump for another four points. And Herterino makes it out of the pack. Temper calls it.
Hot items increasing their lead here. All right, we got double clutch out for the orange and slamlet jamming for blue. Double clutch is your lead jammer. Blue jammer still trying to get out of the pack. Oh, some fancy footwork there from double clutch. Looks like she might have gone out of bounds, though. Blue jammer out of the pack. Woo! Oh, pile up on turn three. Just as double clutch calls the jam before blue can score any points. Up next, we've got Demonica back out for orange and Anarchy here for blue. I'm going to hazard a guess to say there were some blocking clinics that emphasized covering the edges of the track this morning. So there have been a lot of jammers trying to get through on inside or outside lines, and these blockers are not letting that happen. Both jammers struggling with these lines. Orange takes lead. Demonica. One-on-one blocking. Oh, penalty called on number 10 there. But the jam is off. Hot items continuing to lengthen their lead. And uh, markdown. Oh, we're at halftime. Oh, my goodness. While we're on intermission, we'd like to thank our skating and non-skating officials, as well as all the volunteers we have this weekend. They make sure we play fair, we play safe. They keep track of a lot of things so we don't have to, and we appreciate the heck out of them. I wear her. Oh, wow. oh, thank you.
30, less than 30 seconds left in intermission. Coming into the second half, we have the hot items up by almost 40 points. Can the markdowns make up that gap? All right, let's get our second half started. Out for orange. Jammer we have not seen yet this game. Booty Fett going up against the tireless queen from blue team. Queen getting through on the outside, your lead jammer. It's like we've had a panty pass for orange. Tear him up is your jammer for orange now. Queen getting through that pack like no trouble at all. Calls it before Orange can score any points. We got Snot Rocket Science back out for blue against Temper, number 56 for Orange. Both very technically skilled jammers. Oop. Was she in bounds? Not in bounds. Oh, it's not rocket science. Slips through your lead jammer for this jam. Scores her four points and calls it. Monica, number 22, back out for Orange. Going up against Herterino, number 18. To Monica, earning lead jammer status for this jam. Blue jammer still trying to make it through the pack. Like we're through, we got two point scoring jammers on the track. Oh, but Demonica calls it before Reno can score any points. Looks like the hot items managed to get two points in that jam. All right, we've got Eucalyptus Dyke. Starting real low. I respect it. I like it. Up against Hemlocked for the blue. And Eucalyptus Dyke is your lead. Didn't waste any time there. Oh, that was an interesting choice. Oop, looks like we've had a helmet cover pass for blue. Juice, number 707 is now blue jammer. And Eucalyptus Dyke calls it. Did she score any points before the markdowns could? Looks like three points.
Yeah, rogue helmet covers just hanging out on the track there. Causing chaos. All right, we got Cosmo back out for orange versus queen. The tireless queen back out for blue. Really excellent blocking we're seeing here today. These jammers are working hard for every point. And we get a lead, we got a lead. Queen is our lead. Orange Jammer still trying to make it through the pack. Quite a spread here, making our pack rep work. See those two players in the middle bridging. So long as you have players distributed every 10 feet or so, you can lengthen the engagement zone and continue to block a jammer. Hey, tear him up, side of the pack. Four points for Orange, who have now broken 100. Three seconds left in the jam. Quite a success for the hot items there. Lead is back up over 40 points. But we still have 23 and a half minutes left in the period. Everything could change. <laughs> Alan, you keep taking pictures of me. I'm self-conscious. Beloved photographer Alan Snell always finds me making the weirdest faces and then posts them on the internet. What do we got? Official timeout? Take a breather, officials. Looks like we are restarting gameplay. Herderino out for blue team. Temper out for orange. A little bit of a pile up right off the jam line there. Reno's out. Reno's lead. Okay. I wait for the refs to confirm these things. They got better eyesight than I do. Ooh. Let's see if Reno managed, Herderino managed to prevent. Looks like Markdown still scored two points there. Yeah. Hamlock, number 331 out for blue and Looks like a new jammer for this game, Daisy Dozen. Orange blockers for a second there, giving us a very nice example of how to build an effective wall with only two players. Making these jammers work this game. 
I don't know what y'all were learning in these clinics earlier, but clearly you learned well. Hemlocked is your lead jammer. Hell yeah, Hemi. Orange takes him to the edge of the engagement zone and Daisy Doom is out of the pack. Still jammer. Hemi calls it. How many points for Orange do we think? Points for blue right there. Brings the score to 105 hot items. Markdowns at 69. Nice. It's like we are once again in an official's timeout. Take a break. Stretch your ankles out. Say hi to Bookie. Play restarting. We have Snot Rocket Science number six back out for blue. Against someone whose number I can't see. Yeti. Yeti out for the orange. We got some jammer on jammer action right off the line here. Hey, and Yeti is your lead jammer. Oh, she looks so happy. Stay up, stay up, you got this. Yeti yeah, gets what points we can and calls it. That was a fun jam. Arena back out for blue team and booty fet jamming for orange this round. Booty fet giving those blockers a heck of a time. Stays in bounds. Booty fet is your lead. Blue jammer still trying to get out of the pack. Booty fet scoring those points. Thank goodness for that engagement zone, y'all. You're a jammer and you're tired. And there's blockers coming after you. Oh, booty feck getting through that pack, no problem at all. Looks like we've got a helmet cover pass. Blue team trying to help their teammate get through. Booty fet once again on the outside. Her orange blockers giving Blue Pivot a heck of a time. And calls it before Blue can score. That's all right, Juice. We're dropping things on the track. Thank goodness for refs spot these things. Hot items only increasing their lead this half. Temper, back up for orange team, is your lead. Anarchy, still in the pack. Blue 
blocker is doing a good job of hurrying in temper there. She calls it. It's like no points for the markdowns, three points for hot items that jam. For the first time this game, out jamming for Orange, our very own Rogue One, number 6-9. Going up against Slamlet from the blue team. Out of the pack, but what a hit. Slamlet out of the pack first. Slamlet scoring some points, calling it off. We're not messing around here. Hemlocked back out for the blue versus Riot, number 8-8 eight, eight out for orange. Two LRD hometown gals. It looks like a lot of chaos, but these blockers are doing a very good job this game. Of keeping these jammers from getting anything easy. Riot is your lead jammer. She always looks so pleased with herself when she gets lead. Blue Jammer, still not out of the pack. While well, Riot is on her first scoring pass. We got a helmet pass. Bolt, number one, five. We're in the star. Riot calls it before Blue can score any points. Looks like no points for either team that jam. So looking at the scoreboard, looking at the refs. Doing an official timeout. Official review, it looks like. It's a lot of sign language in Derby. And if you can remember it, it's very handy for understanding what's going on. But if you're like me, and you haven't been playing Derby in a little while, because you had other life stuff going on, you don't remember all the sign language. Oh, we are mending our scoreboard. Hot item scored two points last jam. But our jammer Hemlocked is start is in the box. So, Orange starting on a power jam. All these orange blockers gotta think about is how to help their jammer get through. They don't gotta worry about Hemi until Hemi gets out of the box. Eucalyptus Dyke giving a heck of a fight. They are your lead jammer. Back to full power. Hemlock is out of the pack. Looks 
like Orange calls it before Blue has a chance to score any points. Something I have said many times this game. Two points for the hot items there. All right, Herterino back out for blue team. Temper back out for orange. Kind of a classic matchup. If you can call the last 45 minutes enough to build up some classics, which I do. Temper wastes no time getting out of that pack. Lead jammer. Blue jammer still trying to get out. Blue jammer's out of the pack. Oh, looks like temper's going to the box. We got a power jam for blue. All these blue blockers got to think about is getting in the way of the orange. Get that blue jammer through. The more people they pass, the more points we score. Standard roller derby penalty is 30 seconds, which may not seem like a lot of time, but it sure is in derby time. Oh, look at that. Oh, did we go out of bounds? Bummer. Apex jumps are a lot of fun, but they're really hard. Bolt scoring four more points for the markdowns. Looks like our orange jammer is back on the track. Temper. Another chance to score some more points. We have no lead because of the penalty. So this jam is going to go another 35 seconds, the full two minutes. Which again, doesn't seem like a long time. But when you're actually out there, it feels like decades. Markdown scoring four more points there with Bolt. Little Bolt action, you might say. And that's time. Full two minute jam. I've seen a bunch of those this game. We got Anarchy back out for blue. And Demonica number 22 back out for orange. Got to stay in bounds. It's really excellent blocking we're seeing this game. Oh! Demonica looked like maybe she was going to make it out of the pack, but not quite. Over 30 seconds in, and we still do not have a lead jammer. That is a compliment to our blocking walls here for both teams. Orange Jammer, Demonica is out of the pack. We have lead. Those blockers made him work for it, though. Count up. Pack is trying to get around the apex. Oop. Demonica calls. Pack sped up to try to get around the apex there because trying to block on the curves of the track is a giant pain in the butt. And if you find yourself in that position, it's much easier to just skate up to a straight area of the track and try to block there. Looks like we got Cosmo, number 610, back out for orange. And someone whose number I can't see, Slamlet, out for blue. Slamlet, not wasting any time. Earning that lead jammer status.
Orange Jammer still has yet to get out of the pack. Slamlet on her first scoring pass here. Orange Jammer's out of the pack. Slamlet calls it before Orange can score. Trying to close that lead down a little more. Hot items at 135, markdowns up to 91. Seven and a half minutes still left to play. Snot Rocket Science back out for blue and Booty Fett out for orange. Oh, looks like we got a power jam for blue. Oh, she did not realize it was a power jam. What's going on? A little bit of a confusing jam, but it's over now. We move on. Life goes on. Blue starting on a power jam. If you are in the box when the jam ends, you get to stay in the box through the next jam until your time is up. Power Jam Blue, all these blue blockers got to think about is getting the orange out of the way of their jammer. They got no other jobs right now. Orange not making this easy for them, though. Oh, not quite in bounds there for Snot Rocket Science. Not Rocket Science, once again lead jammer. That last jam was so short she decided to stay out. Orange still trying to earn their first pass through. It's not Rocket Science with four points for blue. It's like Booty Fett took the helmet cover off for a second. We're keeping it. Oh, Snot Rocket Science headed to the penalty box. Power jam for Orange. Runner four points. Booty Fett gets a little time to think about how she wants to do things. Ooh. Pushing the edge of the game. Oh, Pack's moving up. It's not rocket science back in the middle of it. Through the pack. There are four points for the markdowns. Blue team giving Booty Fed a heck of a time, but she calls it before it's not rocket science can earn any more points. Uh, items 142, markdowns 99 with four minutes left in the game. Are we calling a, a timeout or something? What are we doing? little unofficial meeting. Hemlocked back out for blue versus temper out for orange.
both teams back to full strength. Nobody in the penalty box right now. And Temper makes it out first. Blue Jammer still trying to get out of the pack. Temper looking a little wobbly going into the pack there. Four points for Orange. Lengthening that lead. Orange ball giving Hemlock a heck of a time here. A little fancy footwork from Temper on the outside. Hemlock not giving up. Sticking with it. Does blue team not have a pivot out right now? I think that may be what's going on. Oh no, pivots in the box. Temper coming around for another swing at it. Ooh, pile up on turn four. 12 point jam for the hot items there. It's very rude. Blowing raspberries at the announcer. We got Jade Phoenix out jamming for Orange first time this game, and Anarchy back out for Blue. Jade Phoenix out first. Lead jammer. Those are very cute leggings. I like them a lot. Two blue blockers in the penalty box, so the remaining blue blockers are going to have a heck of a time trying to keep Jade Phoenix from passing through. Looks like we've got a penny pass, and Juice is your blue jammer. Juice getting through. But Jade Phoenix calls it. It's like an 11 point jam for the hot items. And a four point jam for the markdowns. Looks like we may be in our last jam of the game here, folks. Herterino back out for blue. And Daisy can't read her like that. Daisy Doom back out for orange. Herterino out first, lead jammer. Chance to make up some of these points, close this gap. Herterino tries to slip through with it's not rocket science as a decoy there. Doesn't quite work. Period two, time has run out. So this jam goes until we hit two minutes or until Reno decides to call it. Daisy Doom not giving up the fight there. Reno, a little hop, skip, and a jump through the pack. Haranguing Reno a little more. Nope, Reno gets through. Up to 12 points earned for the markdown. 13 points earned for the markdowns. 12 points earned for the markdowns. Scoreboard's changing on me. 
Looks like we got a panty pass for Orange. Double clutch, coming in clutch. Ooh, trying some fancy jump in there. Always makes me nervous. Looks like we stayed in bounds though. Reno coming through that pack like no trouble at all. And that's time. Unofficial score, 168 hot items, 119 markdowns. Refs may adjust that a little bit in the next minute or so, but it seems unlikely to change. Oh, 170 hot items, 119 markdowns. Hard fought game for both sides, really excellent blocking on both sides. Very fun jamming, both sides. Hope everybody had a good time. if you come up to me with your MVPs. I'm gonna write them down so I don't forget them like I did last night. Thank you everybody for coming out and watching. Thank you to our on-skate referees and our non-skating officials for making this game possible.